Hey, brothers and sisters, this is my part two. Warning to America, because uh, Satan cut me off because he mad, but we're going to keep on pushing, y'all. And that was my new phone. So he, now he's playing with the new phone, but uh, we cover by the blood of Jesus. So, y'all, so the Lord was talking about how they was hot. God is not pleased with them robbing people from their inheritance, took them for their tribe, robbing folks. <clears throat> but the Lord said, who all out there? He, went, he had called people back. I was saying this in my video, and this was, he cut me off. But that's all right. God going to give it to me. Okay, Father, Lord. So the Lord said he had called people back. He called them back twice. He said he had called the people back from captivity. He did it one time, and you know how he had opened the door and called the people and told them to come through, and he gave us a list of people that from different tribes came from captivity. Then he did it again, and he was the last call. And I told you, I said, I feel like the door is shutting. And like a Noah, like the Lord had me feel like a Noah. When the door shut, who all out there, out there? And this is what the Lord is saying, who all out there, out there? Because he called people. He was calling and people didn't come. So the wrath of God is on these people. So let's see what he said about rap, uh, <coughs> about Babylon. Let's read this, y'all, because this is a warning he said to, to Babylon. I told you he said war. He been having me with the Armageddon, Doomsday, even though they doing something to Doomsday too. But that's Armageddon. The Lord said good against evil. They doing a doomsday. So that's make, make, have me think that they the evil one. And then Armageddon, the Lord fighting against this. He say war. Because they just started that doomsday thing. No, they evil. And then he'll go to the Lord to my arm again. War against good and bad. <sighs> Told y'all the Lord said that day when they did that doomsday, and the whole day was shifting. The Lord said it was a shift in the atmosphere. Now all this stuff coming. So let's see what the Lord got talking about. Because he's talking about in Revelation 18. After these things, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having, a, having great authority. And the earth was eliminated with his glory. And he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit, and a cage for every unclean and hatred bird. For all the nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the, kings of the earth have co communicated fornication with her, and her merchandise, uh, merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. And I heard another voice from her, from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you have shared your sins. See, the Lord told, he said, he told him to come out. He probably even giving them out to come out now. Tell them to come out right now. They need to be, they ain't faithful. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. The Lord been getting over stuff already. Luke 1, he said, no more straddling the fence. Double-minded. Now, he said, come out of her, my people. Lest you share her in sins, and lest you receive of her plagues. Plagues coming. Even though they're here, but he's still doing stuff. For her sins have reached to heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. No, that's bad. And I'm going to put this video again down there telling about, telling about America, who all ain't see. Now, look how the Lord compared this. To show us the video, now this. God has remembered her iniquities. Render to, render to her just as she rendered to you. And repay her double according to her works. In the cup which she has mixed, mixed double for her. In the measure that she glorified herself and, left, and lived luxuriously, in the same measures, given her term, torment and sorrow, for she is in her, for she says in her heart, I sit a, as a queen and I, and, and am no widow. And will not see sorrow, sorrow. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine. Told the Lord, say death. He gave us a word earlier on part one. You, you know, I gotta go back and watch it, cause I don't even know what I know. He says, but I just know I gotta look back at what he said. But he said death. I know what death. And and he said mourning. They gonna have a mourning like they lost their only son. I remember that. 